<laughs> y'all better give up. Y'all might, well, might as well give up. <laughs> My guy walks into a room of Jutsu and Genjutsu users. Smell like bitch in here. The fact that, like, Kakashi was having trouble. Like, this is something that happened between the Borto, like, between Naruto Shippuden and Borto. Kakashi was on a boat with Guy, and Guy now wheelchair bound, drunk as fucking seasick, saw Kakashi having trouble fighting one ninja, and decided to end the fight, and he did. <laughs> I love Mike Guy because anytime Mike Guy is in a scene, it's just I I'm gonna end this fight. This fight's over. Remember the first like uh, Lee versus uh, fucking Gara fight, and he takes off the weights. Yep. Yeah. Everybody was like, "Oh, Rock Lee, stupid, stupid, goofy, comic relief," and then he took off the weights, and everybody took him seriously. <laughs> It was so effective, I gotta find a gift for that. Motherfucking Rock Lee, man. You can't make it anywhere in the world without Genjutsu or Ninjutsu. Rock Lee and Mike Guy. There we go. Say, say psych right now. Look at this shit. Oh, Look it's so this. good. Just... <laughs> This looks like a job for me. <laughs> okay. And everybody. That was the moment that a generation of female anime fans' panties just dropped. <laughs> that gif was the defining moment. Where bushy brow <laughs> and bull cut became the new hotness. You, you, you talking from experience? <laughs> I'm talking from when I was in elementary school... All the girls who were reading Naruto at the time were like, Ah, oh, Naruto, or Ah, oh, Kakashi, or Ah, oh, Sasuke. And the moment that episode dropped, they were immediately talking about Rock Lee. And I was sitting there like, Yo, Rock Lee was my favorite character since the fucking beginning. What the fuck are you people talking about? I, I loved Rock Lee, and then Shippuden came out, and I was like, Well, my guy's the real hotness out here. Dude could have solved the whole- every problem. Every problem. He was a trump card. To be fair, that was kind of a final trump card. Oh yeah, he would have died, but he would have gone out like a badass. Yeah. It's a very interesting question. However, did you beat Madara? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Greatest argument, did you beat Madara? No, then shut the fuck up! I love that, like, in the future, even with a broken leg and he can only stand on one foot, he's still training the next generation of ninja. Yeah. Like, like he's kicking ass, and they're like, how the fuck are you doing this? And he's just like, rah, 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 rah. power, youth! I'm fucking old, help! Get off me! Let what's go. the what's the line that when Madara says how his like aura looks like the dying leaves or some shit? Ah, uh, what's the, he's oh, like? What is yeah, he's like they're not dying without purpose. They're becoming nutrients for fresh green leaves or something. Ah, uh, yeah, it's something like that. Like he makes it really poetic, and then he's like, "I acknowledge this chakra of yours." <laughs> God damn. One of the most badass fight scenes in all of anime history. Yeah. That, that's why when they released the released the uh, teaser for All Might vs. Might Guy, I was like, Might Guy's gonna win instantly, there's no question. Yeah. Anybody who makes an argument for All Might doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Again, the guy could bend space. Yeah, All Might, the best he could do with a punch was cause a rainstorm on a, on a clear sunny day. As Riley just said, Mike Guy ran so fast that he bent space time. Yeah, you can't really compete with that. Like, it's. It, uh, okay. All Might would get his. All Might's getting his ass kicked five ways from Sunday. It's not even a competition. Might as well go home. <laughs> I fucking. I. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, uh, I, I can't pronounce that name. <laughs> wow! Just that one blast just like sent that eyeball the other way. No, bitch! 
Who, Who Daishi? The Ringing King Kensai. I am debating on whether or not I should get this certain game right away. And what would that game be? The uh, Meetopia for the Switch. Hmm. I like, I have enough money, but I don't know if I want to get it right away, you know? Would say... Oh, come on! Let go of me. Where's that meme? I'm trying to find a meme. Losing a fight with yourself and realize <laughs> the best way to win is to just be better. <laughs> just be better. No, come on. <laughs> I'm you, but stronger. Yes. Finally. The greatest comeback in the history in the history of any argument just haha -ha, nice thread OP and then you hit him with this. Did you beat Madara? Is there any character that could possibly even touch Madara Uchiha, let alone defeat him? And I'm not talking about Edo Tensei Uchiha Madara. Uh, when you think about it with all that bullshit, Madara was the most broken, stupid character in anime history, and it worked. A hundred percent. Mokuton Kekekekenkai! When you name your- when you name your Genkai Keke, you know that you're- you're- you're, you're pretty kek. Ah. Cringe. That's logic. Just pure fa straight facts. <laughs> I think so. Oh, sure. Um... It's either... Uh... Oh, okay. Also, I really I really need to watch more of that new Fruits Basket anime. It's pretty good. I know. It, I've read the, I read the entirety of the manga, so I know what happens. I'm, I may just need to be refreshed a bit, but... It's my, it's my feel-good anime, currently. Every time... Isn't like, it like... I Mm -hmm. No, I'm just like, I know that you said the new uh, Fruits Basket, I still remember the old Fruits Basket, where, uh, like, there's just so many hilarious moments. Yeah. Like, I, for instance, it... um, what's his name, Kyo was running away from, uh, I think her name is Kagura? Yeah. And, Kagura. Like, and, like, her mood changes so dramatically fast, it's like, Jesus Christ. It's my feel-good anime. It makes me happy. Like, is like, that oh, and how... God. That and how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. Those are my two feel-good animes. Galaxy. Yeah. Did you not hear what Vlad just said? I don't know. Sorry, I was just working on the art... I was just working on the art piece. Oh? You were, just, you were, you were just working on drawing muscle. That thing is a fucking joke. I oh, know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just two big slaps. Okay. You're dead. Isn't like the new Fruits Basket like number four or five on uh, my anime list or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think so. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me I, see. I am checking right now. Same what? here. Um, my anime list. I'm so happy they brought back the original dub uh, cast for the. Uh, the new series too. Yes, it's number four currently. Number four, Ow. holy shit. What's number one? Number one Number one is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Earned spot. That is earned. Yep. 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 I I was not surprised. Oh, this that is um good. That is a hard one fight for, for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. True. I fought and earned this spot! Screams Ed with his little baby legs. <laughs> hey Al, good to have you back as we stand on this roof. I'm gonna push you off this fucking roof and break your new arm. I love watching reaction videos sometimes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and seeing like the reaction to like the last episode. <laughs> yeah, oh the yeah. The last episode was so fucking good. Like holy shit. It was it, it was the chef's kiss. 
to to Full Metal Alchemist the last episode. Yes. Perfection. Perfection. It was beautiful. It had everything you wanted. Everybody's stories got wrapped up very nicely. You know. Oh come on! I thought I had the, it. Damn it. All the characters were treated with the uh, with respect. It was nice. Yeah. The main villain got of ending. Got fucking got. Uh, honestly, um, I almost felt bad for him. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. The main almost. bad guy got called a bitch by God. It caught. By God caught himself. Got caught red-handed in 4K. Oof. You never grew from your time in the jar. And then you, you know, just get get fucking banished to the shadow realm. Pretty much. Have fun. The one, the, the being that wanted to just live free is now being imprisoned with God for the rest of its existence. Not Dealing even with God, God's chilling on the fucking outside. He's stuck on the inside. God Stealing can do from whatever God. The fuck they want. Stealing from God does not make you God himself. It just makes you a clever thief. Yep.